Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to Food Street. And it's time for us to head back on over to the restaurant and finish off the Gobbling It Up event. Halloween is now over for most of us around the world. It was a wonderful but spooky time. But we've got new events starting. There's designs to be looked at and shared with the world. There is the event prizes to be finished and given away to you guys from the games company. And then there's the social interaction as we chat and have fun live on the street. Now your host today is the MasterChef Red Knight and it's good to see you all here today. However, you can't see me yet because I'm kind of a ghost. Right, so Nathan, hello, Russell, hello, Hinata, I see you as well, and Mama Stats, I see you as well. I hope you are having a beautiful and a wonderful day. I know I am. Right, we're taking away the cover, and we find a beautiful restaurant. Now, I was out hunting for products to buy, and I saw this restaurant was selling some nice little goodies. So I decided to head on over and actually have a look. And you know what? I found a gorgeous design, and I like this one, so I'm going to zoom in. Now, it's a bit of a mix of themes here, but they've got the nice Halloween wall pieces there with the windows. Also, with some of the additional pieces from different events, all combining to make a very, very nice building style design. And I like this one a lot. It's very, very pretty indeed. So, you've got some of the animals moving around there. You've got a nice little bit of a glitched in style design there where the floor pieces are kind of flashing as well. So, I do like this one. It's very, very nice and cool indeed. Little mini castle garden at the back there and a beautiful start to the day. Do you know what? I'm going to take a screenshot of this one. Then that way I can share it later and post it on my actual Instagram account. So there we go. Save that image to my game and then we come back. By the way, that's uh, Fila de Leo and it's from the team uh, Cosinha Com Amor. And I went there because I was looking at the roadside stall. And yes, Nate, and Master Chef is what I'm classed as within the game. So, hello there, Amanda. Nice to see you as well. So, Nathan, there are different ranks or positioning for VIPs. I'm at the very, very top, and for me, I am classed as a Master Chef. Supposedly, somebody says I can cook, which is true, I can do. Yeah. But uh, not always allowed in the kitchen by my wife. But I do enjoy cooking up a storm in my live streams and having lots of fun. Let's make that a little bit less blurry. Make the image behind a little bit clearer. There we go. That's nicer. Right, Peter, I see you in the team as well. Now, Peter's one of my moderators, everybody. Uh, if he says do something, please do do so. He's got a little spanner next to his name. Uh, so he allows me to play the game while he administrates. Now, the event is over. It was fun. It was enjoyable. Uh, we came in a very, very nice position. So third place for us. That was probably my fourth Halloween I've done now since the very beginning of the game. And I still enjoy it. It gets more challenging every year to do these events, but it is still good fun. Uh, the key thing for me, though, when it comes to the Halloween, I do enjoy buying the decoration. So there's a lot of really cool decoration down there this time to begin. Within the specials, we got skeleton dogs, there's spiders, and many other things. And I'm hoping my spider is now fixed. I got told that they've actually repaired it. So my spider has been to hospital and he's had medical treatment. So now we can have a look and see how he looks. So let's go place down my trees into my uh, area and then I can see what he does look like and see if he's able to move around without any problems at all. And to place that one down as well and that one there. Get down my lemon trees in that location as well. There we go. And then place down my pineapple trees. One there, two there, and three there. Then we can save that one now and make that one active. So let's go have a look at my spider. Is he working or not working now? So fingers crossed, everybody. Oh, I forgot to tick. 
Right, the spider has been placed down. The rewards can be collected. Very nice indeed. I'm getting close to leveling up as well, which is good. I can't wait. Ninja, hello. Barbara, I see you as well. Phoebe, hello as well, my dear. Right, okay. Taking SS as Peter's statement for the day. So I am a mod. If you want me happy, send me Katie or Cute Celebrity. So I don't know Cute Celebrity. Who is that one? I know Katie. So you want a... Uh, Kate Wilde, I think it is, or something like that, or Kate Moss, something along those lines. Cheers, by the way, everybody. Now, until recently, my spider has been disabled. His back legs and side legs haven't worked effectively, and he's supposedly been to the hospital. So we need bread on this one. Oh, I've got lots of other items, but no bread. So let's go collect some bread. There we go. That won't take very long indeed. 37 seconds and it ticks down. I've mastered that one, which is very nice. I've got all three stars, so it cooks a little faster. I'm working on this one. So my last mastery down there is in 3,177 more of those. Oh my God, that's a lot. I'm working on my second one here as well. So 390 to go on that one, which is a lot as well. Haven't even started this one yet. I've got 80 to go. And my cookies, I need 24. I had a whole truck cookie request yesterday and I declined it and sent it away because it was way too many. Right, Phoebe, hello as well, by the way. And Diamond, good morning, good morning, good morning. Right, the bread is now ready and my stock is full up. Oh dear, that's not good. Okay, hang on a second. And no, no, no. Okay, well, I can't do any of those. So let's see if I can make something with these pieces I've just collected. Right, if I had a coffee, I could do those ones. If I get some more of those blueberries, I could do some of those. So that's good. There we go. We'll take the blueberries. Do blueberries, blueberries, blueberries. And I can get some of those on the go for later, which is nice. Okay, another pineapple and a coconut. So pineapples and coconuts. Okay, let's do that one. All right, a couple of those on the go, because they're always useful to have. And now we need to take the bread, and let's go check my spider. up. So, fingers crossed he's back to normal. There we go, we're going to zoom out. Okay, oh my god, his legs are working. Yay, my little one is back to normal, everybody. Oh my god, look at that. My little spider has been repaired. So he's been to the hospital and they did a little bit of a working and tweaking and adjusting and he now works perfectly. Don't you look handsome. Look at that everybody. My spider's missing. My spider's missing. You missed my stream the other day. That's okay. It's up on my channel so you can go watch it. Actually it's still in the processing state so it will be processed soon. Yeah, and it broke half or near the end which is still okay. But I did my goals for the day, which was nice. Stomp that spider. No, 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 no. How can you stomp something so beautiful as that? It's beautiful. Look at those cute little eyes. Wouldn't you love to wake up in the morning and then see it sitting there on your chest, uh, gazing at you in the eyes, looking at you and saying, hello there, master or mistress. Uh, I am the little spider in your house. I eat all of the flies and the mosquitoes and I keep you safe and sound when you are sleeping. Uh, don't worry if I wiggle my bum under your nose. Uh, it's just fun. Uh, but uh, don't squash me, don't beat me, don't hurt me, uh, because I do keep your house insect free. Now, however, if you do stomp me, you do try to hurt me, I will let the mosquitoes in and they will eat you alive. <laughs> right, I have a cute little spider too, says Mama. We all do, I think. So, yes. But I, I was kind of happy he was disabled, but now he's been fixed. And kind of like, um, it, it's like sad in some ways, but um, at least now he's walking around, which is good. So very nice indeed. I'm pleased on that one. Right, let's go see what I got for my administration today. Well, according to this, there is a truck that came. Now, it's a silver truck. I probably sent the last five trucks away because they were bronze trucks and just impossible for my schedule and timing. 
Yeah, but this one, I don't know. It looks relatively easy to do. I'm just going to need a lot of meat. Now, coincidentally, I thought I would load up my machine with some meat the other day uh, and see how that would go. Okay, because I didn't check my trap before I went to bed. I didn't realize I needed pasta on this one, so I could have got some of that on the go, but that's relatively fast as well. So I do have some meat down there, and if I can go and get those ones done, then that will be very easy as well. Now, according to this, I also need to do some spaghetti, so I need to get that one organized, which means growing vegetables. Now, I did grow loads of other vegetables, which means that my storage is probably going to be a little bit full up with the wrong items at the moment. That's all good, though. Um, I'm going to need some more things made anyway, so we might as well stack up on what I've got. There we go. Perfect. That's wonderful. Right, what have we got down here? The broom actually has customers sitting upon it if you have Cafe Rose live stream. Really? I had that broom in there for so long and I never saw anybody sitting on it at all. So, where's that broom? Broom, broom, broom. So, it's a seat. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. I had that broom. So did they fix it and have a customer sitting down on it? I hope so. I really do hope so. So let's wait and see if we get any customers coming up there and sitting on. So if that's too, Barbara, I will be very happy indeed. Val, hello, by the way, as well. Okay, right. There's a customer moving towards the broom. Will they sit on it or not? I wonder. Have they changed it so people sit down now? Oh, God, I hope so. I really, really do. Okay, what have we got down here? So, collect the croissants. I don't have any croissants made. Samosa. Oh, I got some samosas down there. That's good. And how many samosas do I need for this one? I need three. So, I better get another one on the go, haven't I? There we go. Huh? What? It did. It did two samosas in one go. You saw that? Hey! I only pressed that button once. Did you see that? I pressed that button once and it placed down two samosas. Hey, 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 that's dangerous. It's okay because I got the resources, but I wasn't expecting it to play too. Ah, do, 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 that was very, very weird indeed. Very weird indeed. I hit that button once and it did too. Okay, all right. So something is very strange in the game if it's doing that to me. That was very, very strange. Very strange indeed. Oh, look at that. Stop, 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 stop. No, no carrots. Okay, a saw is good. Saws I will accept. Saws I like. All right, now I need to take one of those meat, which means I need to produce more soon. Okay, so I've got a lot to do on this one. All right, let's see what orders I can do first of all. I've got administration to come down here. So any of these items I need or don't need. Let's have a look. Strawberry drink. I've got one of those down there. All right, friend's toast. There's friend's toast there. But how about the dragon sushi roll? Do I have any of those ready? No, I don't. So let's go to my deep fat fryer. And I need greens on that one, which the greens should now be in the process of cooking, which is fine. Okay. All right, let's check this one. The lemon meringue is going to be hours and hours and hours away, but let's do one anyway. So press once. Okay, that one was okay. That one was okay. And what I might do, actually, is get another one of those on the go, because that looked very useful indeed. It's only a couple of hours, and we do need more of these items made. So, we're going to take another meringue, I think, in there. And what I may do is do one of the apple pies as well. For some reason, I grew loads of sugars to get some more cakes made. There we go. A nice bit of apple pie down there as well. I like that indeed. That is good. Now we go take another steak, which means I can do one of these trucks again, which is beautiful. 
And do you know what? I'm going to request to help on two of these easy ones, and then my friends can come and do some of those. I need four steaks again, which is fine for later. We we'll take some eggs down there, some tomatoes down there as well. I take the tomatoes there, get some wheat on the go for that one. And then we come back over to this one. We're going to trash that and see how we go. Right, Ricky, how come the sea creature has no head in the water, just a tail? Okay, well, let's have a look. Well, why does the sea creature only have a tail? Well, maybe he doesn't like to come up for air. He likes uh, being under the water. Uh, and there could be that reason. So maybe if he comes up out of the water, he doesn't like it. Could be that his body is elsewhere down there. But yeah, you are right. There is no head on that one, is there? So we need a head. Hmm. But what kind of head would be good? What would be so scary and frightening? Maybe it's the anticipation of uh, knowing there's something there. So that feeling builds up inside your mind. You start imagining and thinking, what does it look like? Uh, but because we don't see, our imagination runs wild. And then when it comes up there, there's this cute, beautiful lady. And it's like, Aah! very different. So whose face would look good down there? That is the question indeed. Right, now let's continue. So what's this one down here? So burrito, I can do that one. Okay, we'll go get that one done now, I think. All right, let's go back and collect that other order so I can get that one down there as well, which is nice. There we go. Right, I'm going to trash some of those for the moment until I get some more prawns. That one's making. Sugar-fed donuts. Okay, I've got to be careful with this machine. It's gone crazy on me. I need wheat. Okay, let's go with the wheat again. Uh, we need light versus day versus night features. It would be nice, but it's actually not that easy to do sometimes because once you do introduce a day feature or night feature, you then got to make sure that everything is redone and then a shadow created or different light effects created. It would be wonderful, but it's difficult. Uh, Shimi, okay, I'm sorry, I don't understand your language. If you could change it, please do so, and I would be very happy. Uh, but it would be nice. It is kind of like the Loch Ness Monster. And do you notice with the Loch Ness Monster, over the years, the amount of people have taken photos, even with a modern society where we have very good cameras that can zoom in and see the moon from our telephones, we still end up with blurry imagery. And it's the same with spaceships and flying saucers. Uh, so as such, like, We've got the ability to see wonderful pictures. People can take selfies all of the time, but they can't take a good picture of a flying saucer in the sky. It's crazy, isn't it? Ah, oh, we've got someone there pulling it. Yes, my first person I've seen on there. Oh, my God, I got off. No, that was brilliant. Someone actually sat on it. So, yay, I need to turn it around to see their face. Oh, my God, I saw that. Somebody actually sat on the broom. Yay, yay, yay. Now I am happy. That is good. Okay, that's perfect. My broom. Somebody sat on my broom. Diamond, no, not yet. I'm going to do that today. So when I go into the city, there's a variety of different vending machines. So I will be taking some videos of those vending machines, and then I can show you the kind of vending machines that we have here. Okay, is she going to sit down or not? There she goes. Look at that. We've got a sitter. Yay, indeed. Now, my advice, ladies, is to reduce your weight. So did you see how that actual broom is like up like this? She is way too heavy for that one, way too heavy. So my suggestion for her is to maybe eat, let's see, like sensible guy, sit in the middle, balanced, equally balanced, no problems there, not too heavy, not too light. There's a big difference. Look at that. So the broom is equally balanced there, uh, but uh, when she sat down on it, it was like, whoa! If there'd been a small child sitting on the end there, the child would have been there. She sat down, it would have been boing, up in the air. Uh, wrong kind of flying. See? Lightweight person. The broom is balanced. And I'm happy. People are sitting on the broom, and it is wonderful. That is good news indeed, and that pleases me greatly. So, very, 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 very happy. I'm so happy on that one. That is good, and I like it. 
Right, now, let's go see. What else do I need to do down here? So I'm not going to do that one. I was thinking of making some quiche Lorraine's the other day, and I did one, but I don't have any spaghetti ones made down there. I've got to do this first, so we go get that one on the go. Right, we need some more eggs as well, so I better do that. Yeah, we'll take the wheat as well while I'm at it. Admin time before I do anything else. It's always fun playing, 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 and there we go again. Right, so we come back down again. Let's go to the spaghetti carbonara. There we go, another one there, another one there. I need more eggs. That's two done, three done. Eggs, 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 eggs. Okay, I like that. All right, Abby, thank you very much for reviving. I appreciate that one. Right, lemons as well. So do I have enough lemons? Let's check. No, more lemons, please. Help on that one. And now we can do the eight lemons. Ooh, this could be tight. That could be fun. Let's have a look. Chop it down, chop it down, and okay on that one. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got just enough lemons. That's beautiful. Right, now I've got no lemon trees left. They don't take so long to grow, which is good. Yeah, so that is wonderful. Place that down there as well. There we go. And another lemon tree in there. Do you know what's missing? I really do wish sometimes that I had the time it takes to grow on the chart here. So, uh, Food Street, Annie, if you're watching today, or anybody from the team, can we actually get uh, times down on these trees so I know how long it takes to grow or to revive without having to touch the tree and find out? Uh, I'd love to see the table where it actually came up with the information. It would make it so much easier for me. I would be very much happy with that. Uh, do the one where you need an ID card. Well, that one's alcohol-based anyway, Peter, and usually the vending machines for drinks are really expensive. I prefer to go to the supermarket or the convenience store. It's much cheaper. Uh, but if I can find someone there who's buying beer, uh, then I will ask them to do it. Yes. Uh, okay, Ninja, I see you want me to go and visit your restaurant. I will do it a little bit later if that's okay. Uh, it's admin moment at the moment, and I've got points to be collected and items to be done. Uh, and the game that is making extra resources that I didn't ask for. So, uh, that is good, but also okay. Right, let's go back over, and we can do that one again, and spaghetti carbonara, don't need, but I do need these ones, which is wonderful, easy peasy, chicken udon, can I do some chicken udon, yes I can, but I need eggs again, my legs are now ready, I like that one. Okay, nice set of easy tasks today, if I do believe so. Nothing too stressful or strenuous. Very, very simple-based activities today. Still need the eggs. Okay, that one's good. Checking those again. Dragon roll. I need the one tempura. Tempura. We need that one down there. There we go. Lovely. That is lovely indeed. I like it. Everything's coming along nicely there. Right, Tawana, hello as well, by the way. Right, yep, we are now having people sitting down on those. That is good. Did they change that? Has that just been fixed with the update as well? So they fixed the spider. Uh, have they fixed the broom bench so people sit on it as well now? If so, it could be worth buying another one. Uh, however, it is kind of boring. It is very, very boring indeed. Three bronzes. Mm, do I get another broomstick bench or not? Tables, nothing brand new. Okay, doors, there were some nice goodies down there. I don't have any of the gothic doors or the single doors. The castle art, I've been building up my blues again, so I got the old ones down there. Halloween gate is cool, so I've not really purchased extra there. Uh, the Halloween fence, I might get some more of those. And I do need to buy the cobweb walls before this one runs out. Got three days left on the clock for that one. Uh, the mausoleum, I really do like as I do the archway. The only trouble is, it's the prices again for these ones. So they are fantastic, but it's the cost that concerns me. Especially with a very, very nice event coming up. So there is a gorgeous new event coming round as well. Mm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. To buy or not to buy. That is a tricky question in 
indeed, if I do think so. Hmm. Uh, they get lost with everybody else's. No, your comets are in there, so don't worry, I saw them. Uh, sometimes they are, sometimes not. Uh, Val says, I hope you come to mine too. I will do. I will drop by some of your restaurants today, so I will come and have a shifty, so don't worry on that side. All right, thank you very much. You did one of my nice, easy crates for me. Yay, that is fantastic. All right, three meats down there. Another one's ready in a couple of minutes. We get one on the go. So I need in total another... I need eight altogether. So that's easy. I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one spare. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, keep going with the eggs. I need eggs. I need a lot of eggs today. So that is beautiful as well. We get the wheat growing as well, and that is fine. All right, let's go back to my main restaurant. And now I need to edit the layout on this one and add in lemon trees because they've been chopped down. So there we go, there we go. And you come over to there, beautiful. Close that one off and I can now make that one active again. Then we are back to the big restaurant with all of my animals with my coins. All right, let's have a look. Okay, bum, 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 bum. Yep, comments do get lost sometimes. Yeah, I can't help that. That They just do kind of like disappear within the information. Yeah, it's like when I'm stacking some of my products, I forget I've got something. So when I don't collect it, it gets hidden behind other items. And then I see an order and I trash it thinking I don't have it. So very annoying on that side. Right, let's go get my fisherman working again. He is being a little lazy today, so we need to wake him up and get him going. I've got plenty of lobsters down there. I do need some more of the squid bait and the prawns later, but not just yet. I know, I need to collect. Right, Ricky, I wish we would have the Vatrap bundles on Food Street that they have on the home street today. I got 10 of each for $19.99. That's very nice. Okay. Uh, you should ask them and maybe they will do it. Abril, hello, by the way. Now, do you think I can hit level 62 today? I'm so close on the XP, but I don't know how much I've got left. So as usual, it's very challenging. Uh, but that's not bad. That's not bad. Is anybody else playing the new game, by the way? So, have you started playing the new game or not? So, have you started playing the new game? I hope so. Um, I've played it for a little bit and it was fun to do. Um, I'm not going to be live streaming it, but I will play it. Du -du 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 -du. But if anybody else does decide to do it, please do so. All right, Vicky says, hello, Vicky. Hello, Vicky. Okay, more, 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 more. Greens are good. Tomatoes are important because I need them again. And that is wonderful. Yes, 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 indeed. That's good. Okay, how's my upgrade going? Still lots of way on that one. Still lots of way on that one. And the event one, still lots of way on that one. Okay, good. I updated the other day. Right, now it's a waiting game to see what's going to be finished first so I can collect those items and then do it. Okay, another pass has been done by Barbie Doll. Thank you very much. I appreciate that one. And speaking of help, let's see anybody on my team. Sonia needs something. Let's go do it. Right, uh, Vicky says started and removed it. Uh, not sure what that one is, but um, okay. 65, I can't do anything. I need to level up a lot more. Everything else has been done down there. Just need to be woken up and then they can collect it. Right, next one. Right, Dimer says I don't like it, nor I. What don't you like? Ah, okay, the new game. Okay, yes. Really? Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, it's only for certain people who like it. Uh, it's very popular with a certain group of people who like uh, the worm-style games where you're collecting. Uh, there was a big crowd of it, so hopefully one of those people will take it up and start playing it. Can't do that because I haven't purchased a machine. 
Right, let's go back again, have another look. Anybody else in my team needs any help? Yes, I love it. So thanks for playing the latest update, enjoying the game so far. Uh, now, should I do a positive review or a negative review? If I say no, I need to justify. If I say yes, I need to justify. So what to do? Do I say I like the latest update or not? Hmm. Well, they broke my spider. I had a disabled spider in the game, which was wonderful. The first disabled character. Uh, in the game and they fixed it I was very sad with that very sad indeed hmm Daimer says it was boring for some people it is yes right so they broke my spider they fixed it they made the legs better so I, I'm very sad uh, my first disabled character and uh, well, actually, not the first disabled character. The zombies are kind of disabled. They're brain dead. Uh, they're like politicians. But uh, yes. Hmm. So should I say I not really or I love it? How about if I just like it and don't love it? If I like it, but I don't love it. So sh is it OK to click the love it button? Uh, or if I say I like it, but I click the not really. That's saying, like, no, I don't like it. I I'm stuck here. What to do? So this is a very challenging question, everybody. What would you do in this case? So I like the update. It was nice. But do I love the update? Well, love love is a strong word. It's like it's it's commitment. It's like it takes that extra step. It's almost like getting married. Uh, and mm, love, 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 love. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So to love, to love, to love, to love. So you know what it's like. Us men, like we just don't say I love you so easily. And it's really difficult. It really is. So, hmm. Difficult question. Okay, I'm going to say I love it because, yes. So we love you too. Really? Oh my God, I like that. That's always good. When you tell someone you love them, they should always say I love you back. Um, but it is kind of very standard. Love you. Love you too. Love you. Love you too. I love you, my darling, with all of the heart, all of my soul, uh, with my whole body. Yeah, love you too. What? Is that it? You're supposed to say you love me and emphasize it, but no, nothing as well. Right. The pain. Oh, my God. Rate us again. I will do it later. I'm going to say no thank you because you forced me to say I love you. Uh, that feels very, very stressful for me. Oh, my God. I had to do it. Okay, next one down there. And I do believe we can collect the fourth meat. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful indeed. Doesn't that look good? Now, over there, there are some more pastas. And no, I can't collect the fourth pasta. I need to do another tomato. Right, April says, geez, men and commitment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. I can enjoy today's stream now. Right, okay. Love it, but don't rate it. Uh, hey, what's wrong with us men? We're always committed. Yeah, we love you every morning. It's true. Right, so, uh, I love you. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I love you, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm committed. I come home. I, I work hard. But I do everything. Yes. Yeah. Nothing worse than a man being forced to say, I love you. That's right, Phoebe. Very much so. Yes, 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 yes. Totally agree. 100% girl. That's right. You tell them. So, yep. Never force the man. Okay. It has to come from the heart has to come from the heart isn't that true peter so for us love is special we can't just throw love around uh it's okay for the ladies it's easy but us men there's that commitment there's that passion that desire it's very important that when we say i love you that you understand we mean it okay so it's really 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 key absolutely indeed yep so <laughs> Redmond, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning.
Uh, I think today is going to be an interesting stream. I do indeed. Okay. Let's get some carrots on the go again. And that'll be perfect for later. Right. So everybody's saying hello, which is good as usual. And I'm doing my administration. And I'm working on a beautiful truck. I'm glad I had most of these done. That will give me uh, my eighth silver voucher, which will be good as well. So, yeah. Uh, Dimas says, I love men. Really? Wow, okay. But some are so needy. It's like they have man flu every day of the year. Well, it's not that we have man flu every day of the year. It's the fact that we need consistent love, you see. Like when we say I love you, it's because we mean it. So when a man says I love you, Diamond, we mean it and it can never be broken. But as you know, women are cold, heartless, uh, shallow things with frozen hearts. And it takes a lot to thaw that heart. So when a lady says that she loves us, we need her to prove it as well. That's absolutely right. <laughs> Uh, Phoebe says men are whiners and babies when they have their sniffles well a man flu is worse than pregnancy like if you imagine giving birth to a child uh, like man flu is like 10 times stronger than that so you, you, you know you know you know you know you know you know <laughs> <laughs> I could have some fun today. Yeah. So, how do you like the conversation piece today? If you're not in stitches and dying on the floor by now, I don't know what's going to have you going. Willow, Autumn Willow says, oh, it's on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah speaking of on, uh, it's all about the remote control. So, yes, us men come home from a hard day at work uh, after supporting the family. And there's the wife sitting in front of the TV. And the exercise today is the on button chain. <laughs> <laughs> all right poor ricky he's fun starved i am yes i haven't had any fun since yesterday so it's morning now right diamond says yeah right ricky tell that to jerry springer when the guy says to his lady love you but blah, blah, blah. i'd love to i'd love to be on jerry springer show that would be so much fun uh, i really would some of the guests that he has on that show are like oh my god God, they are bat crazy, uh, but so funny, so, so funny indeed. Right, okay, April says I missed the fun. No, not yet, not yet, not yet. Trust me, April, I'm just warming up now, so just getting into the groove where we're gonna have my whole audience uh, up in arms and then like uh, hissing at me. And go, <laughs> Claws are out. Fur is rising. I can see the little hackles on the back of the neck now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like it. So come on, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Uh, April Diamond and I are on the attack. Really? I've got a nail file, so it's okay. No problems. Okay, okay, all right. One, two, three, and one more, one more, one more. Come on, that one more to do, and then I will get that crate done as well. And then I just need to worry about that one. So that's going to take me 20, 40, 60, so about an hour and 12 minutes before the next one's done. Then I can ignore the boat crate till later and just work on my orders, which will be good as well. So in fact, let me do the sugar donuts now. That one's, I need two eggs on that, okay. <coughs> Right, Barbara says no comment on the conversation. Really? Barbara, come on, join in the fun. Uh, in the old days, women, uh, so Diamond says in the old days, Phoebe, us women were men's remote controls. Ah, uh, 
actually, that's not true. No, 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 no. My mum used to say to my dad, uh, darling, can you switch the channel? And he would just reach up to the wall and then just turn the dial on the wall. Uh, so, yeah, no, 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 no. That's not true. Yeah, not true at all. So, no, I remember my dad doing that for my mum. So he would say to my mum, don't worry, my darling, you just sit there. Okay, um, I, I'll do it for you. You don't need to get up. You've, had a, you've got a hard task later. So, yes. Yep, that one's right. Ricky is so naive. Me, no. Ninja said, no, I remember that, Miguel, and that me username is from a show I like. Ah, uh, Ninja, uh, we remember you're a girl. So, I hope you're learning many, many things. Yep. <laughs> right. So, Ninja, some advice for you in the future. Okay. Uh, when you find yourself a perfect guy, if he doesn't have a sense of humor, get rid of him. Okay. So, number one make sure he loves you. Number two, make sure he has a sense of humor. And number three, make sure he can wash his own socks. If he can't wash his own socks, then he's not a keeper. So get rid of him. So definitely has to wash his own socks. A guy has to know how to wash his socks. It's the only way they're done properly. So yep, absolutely. Three key things to remember. Yep. Three key things. Uh, Phoebe says, no, 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 no. Make sure he's rich. <laughs> rich is just a perception, young lady. You can be very poor and very happy. That's important. Yep, indeed. There we go. Crate is done and beautiful indeed. Now I'm just going to wait another hour now. So we can ignore that truck for the time being. Uh, I like that. Make sure he's rich. But that's not true, Phoebe. None of my ladies in my stream care about money. Uh, they don't care about being rich. They don't care about husbands having... Lo they want husbands with six packs. They want husbands that... Ah, uh, great. <laughs> Sense of humor. So important. Uh, sense of humor actually no man bods are bed uh, like dad bods are more important these days my sister says so she says dad bods are better than six packs <laughs> right okay i like this i'm having fun here okay all right where are we let's start doing some of the show can't do those ones till later ignore that one i can do the spaghetti carbonara now do I have the bacon? Oh my god, I don't think I've got the bacon. Let's go have a look. Okay, no bacon yet. Let's start one going, two going, three going, four going, five going, six going. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve hours worth of work there. That'll be fine. So actually more than twelve hours worth of work, but still good. Okay, we'll leave that one till later. <coughs> Uh, Barbara says, mine isn't rich and doesn't have a six-pack. See, she likes a sense of humor. Okay, very important. Does he wash his own socks? That's the question. Hmm. Right. Besides, uh, Peter says, my family and friends don't know what love is. <laughs> Uh, see, I've got the audience on my side. Money's not important. Yeah. However, if you have spare money and you don't need it, you're welcome to donate it towards me. Super chat uh, is down there below as well. Uh, I got a wife who likes money. Yes, indeed. <laughs> She didn't marry me for my good looks. She didn't marry me for uh, my man bod either. So, yep. Okay, let's have a look. So, Phoebe said, I've had the poor. I've had the eight pack. I have had the hard worker. He does his own laundry, but I want rich now. <laughs> <laughs> Black Widow. Uh, April says, love money in six packs. Okay, Ayumi, hello, 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 hello. Oh my God, this is a strange stream. Okay. Uh, I got some really, 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 really weird conversations going on here. Okay, let's see who else down there. So, Caitlin needs some help as well. Mm. <coughs> That's so funny. Okay, I need to do another pizza. If I do a seafood pizza, I can help out on that one. 
Do I have a prawn? I think I may do. Let's have a check. Seafood pizza. I could do a seafood pizza, I think. Let's seafood pizza. Yes, I can. I was thinking of having a seafood pizza last night, but I changed my mind and I actually went for uh, sushi instead. It was good. I enjoyed it. It was very delicious indeed. So I enjoyed that one. Uh, there is one more thing which qualified guy, you know if he is good. Oh, so Barbara, tell me. So what do you mean? So you know what I mean. <coughs> so there's one more thing which qualifies a guy. You know if he is good. So what is that? So Barbara, you're going to have to say in the stream. I really don't understand. Peter says, Ricky, you read that wrong. Did I? Let's have a look. Let's go back up. Besides my family friends, I don't really know what love is. Ah, okay. So Peter doesn't know what love is. Really? Uh, it's easy to find. Ah, so Barbara's now laughing her head off, and Autumn goes, ding, ding, Barbara. So, ah, <coughs> Ricky, she can't say that. It's a G-rated stream. Oh, she's talking about shoe size. Ah, okay, okay. I understand, okay. Shoe size, okay. So she's talking about shoe size. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the other way to tell is from the elbow to the wrist. So if you go from the elbow to the wrist, that's a good indication as well. So that gives you like a good idea. So Barbara, there we go. So elbow to the wrist or shoe sizes. Size 30 centimeter shoes, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> And did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Uh, I can't believe my audience now. <laughs> oh my god, Ricky's own Jerry Springer show. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I'm enjoying this. Okay, I can do the last one now, which is good. That's perfect. So that will be... No, I need three more of those, don't I? I need one more egg. That will be done soon. 28 seconds. Ah, Barbara's crying now. Ricky, I said, besides my family and friends, I don't know what love is because I've never been in love. Ah, Peter, let me, Peter, let me give you a definition of love for you. Okay, so love is actually very easy to describe and to define. Uh, love is, okay, right, so you need to sit down for this one, Peter. Take notes because it's very important. Okay, right, now, what is love? Love is the feeling that two people have for each other. When you're sitting down next to each other and she looks over to, next to you, even though you have stinky breath, i.e. halitosis, she still places her head on your chest. Uh, that's love. Uh, love is sitting at the dining table and in front of you is a beautiful meal that she has prepared for you. It has all of your favorites. Uh, now, it's not she's not sitting opposite you. She's actually sitting next to you and you're eating together and you're talking and you're looking at each other as you're eating. That is love. Love is walking down the street and you're so close that your hips are touching each other. As you're moving, you move in sync with each other. That is love. Uh, love is outside when the weather is bad uh, and you bring her close to your body and you carve, protect her with uh, an umbrella and she looks at you with that burning passion in her eyes. That is love. Uh, love is uh, waking up in the morning and you have your blanket. So she hasn't stolen your blanket. That's important. Love is mm, coming home after a hard day's work uh, and the bath is running. Uh, 
your slippers are ready and she says hi honey welcome home there you go that's love <laughs> Uh, April <laughs> I like that one right April says love is uh, not caring how bad their farts smell it's so true April the dragon's farts when she lets on rep oh my god God, I have to open the windows. I have to open the doors. Uh, I have to like put the fan on just to blow it through the house and get it out of the house. Uh, even my neighbours like uh, have to be told like uh, that like uh, it's like a mass evacuation. It's an extinction level event. So absolutely, uh, my my wife when she toots, oh my God, it's. That's definitely love. Absolutely. I totally agree. <coughs> <laughs> love is when you're ready to sacrifice everything for another person. You mean I have to give her the last chocolate? No, 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 no. Right, let me see what else you put in the chat. Love is red roses. Really? But roses die, though. The love is when you sacrifice everything for another person. I can't disagree with that one. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure if I would sacrifice everything. So maybe some things. Maybe a little finger. Right, next one. I think you need someone there physically to be in love. Well, not really. Like uh, here in Japan, people love animation and they love uh, other things. But yes. Yeah. No honey, no money, says Ayumi. <laughs> ah, okay, Phoebe and Ayumi are perfect together. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, I like that one. <coughs> no money, no honey. Yeah, that is brilliant. Mama says, love is a complex set of emotions, behaviors, and beliefs associated with strong feelings of affection, protecting with warmth and respect for another person. Wow! Okay, that's a lot of words. Yeah, that is a lot of words. All you need is love, but a little chocolate now and then doesn't hurt. I agree on that one. Hmm. Peter, no, I disagree. Okay, there's love has different sets of extremes. Uh, so there are different levels of love. Uh, trust me on this side there will be someone one day that will come into your life that will be like she will make your toes curl she will make your taste buds tingle she will make the beating of your heart go boom boobity boom boobity boom boobity boom <clears throat> she may be married she may be single she may be old she may be young but there will be someone and I will say one thing. Do not let it go. Okay. If you see someone that comes into your life that you feel a strong closeness to, someone that you could love and loves you back, do not let them go. doesn't matter where they are in the world. You go and get them. Because trust me, opportunities don't always come by again and again and again. Right, okay. Bum, 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 bum. Love is doing the right thing to and for another person, says Vicky. That's interesting. Uh, I agree sometimes. But uh, sometimes you have to do the wrong thing that uh, you don't want to do because it will hurt their feelings, but you still need to do it. So I do agree on that side as well. Love is interesting. Yeah, very, 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 very interesting indeed. So, hmm, I like it. Okay, right, let's go and see if there's anything in the roadside shop I can buy. It should be refreshed now. Uh, everything that's down there is gone. Let's refresh this one and we have a look. Look, 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 look. Mr. Gloves. I'll take the carrots. They're gone as well. Oh, well, that has gone as well. Too slow. Right, let's go visit. Oh, love story. That's good. <coughs> it's an interesting topic today. Let's talk about giveaways. Yes, very, very soon indeed. There we go. A tree. Right. Now, what do we have on the giveaways anyway today? So this is the second of the two events for giveaways. So we've only got the one giveaway left. And I just pressed the wrong button. So close that one off. We do that one now. And let's have a look. 
There we go. Right, so do 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 ah. No, 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 no. Where's my Halloween stuff gone? No, 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 no. What's happened? What's happened? What's happened? Hang on. What's happened? <clears throat> oh, 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 okay. All right, you can't do that. Okay, let's retype that information in. I lost all my list, everybody. And it's okay, I've got it back now. Right, so I seem to be missing one item, though. <clears throat> okay, I seem to be missing one item. All right, let's type that one back in. That is not good. I lost lots of information down there. So, move that back to important. Okay, where is it gone? Let's see if it refreshed it. Put that back. Okay, hang on a second everybody. I seem to have lost my prize list from last time, which is not good indeed. I didn't delete it. So, something has happened which is very, very unusual indeed. Why? What's going on? Why did that do that? <clears throat> Okay, well, I've taken a screenshot anyway, so I won't lose the message. I can retype it in later, but that's not good. For some reason, my email had disappeared and it had raised all of my data on my system. So, last time, just to confirm, please confirm for me, everybody. We gave away the gems, we gave away the voucher packs. I thought somebody won the pet last time. I thought the pet was chosen as a prize, wasn't it? So I need to type this one back in. So give me a second, please, while I redo this. So I actually have lost my memo. So let's take away the cover and you can see what I've got to type back in. I've got to type all this back in again. It disappeared. Yeah, the pet was given away, but my whole list has gone and it's been deleted, which is surprised. So goblin it up event. I actually set up my account so when I do type things on my notes they go to my actual messages so but um, so pet interactive decoration gold uh, times a thousand one two three uh, voucher packs 
of our voucher packs. VLU, VLU, C A T R P A C K S. Okay, that was number one. Was uh, Barbara B A R B A R A T L A G A. Okay. Excuse me while I repair this, everybody. I've lost all my data. Number two was one by Debbie, D-E-B-B-I-E, uh, A-U-L-D. Number three was one by Hinata Huga, Hinata uh, Huga, H-Y-U-G-A. Okay, number four was one by... Kira Lexia. Okay. Then the gems, gem packs of twenty-five gems each. Uh did it did it did it did it did it was one by number one was by Emma C. Number two was one by Russell. Are you S S E L S H E P H E R D? Number three was one by Barbara B A R B A R A L Hass. Number four was one by H E A T H E R Rudleff. <coughs> Number five was one by Ryan H O L O H A N. Okay, right. I know the pet was one, but I need to find the winner's name. 2BC. Okay, C, old video. Right, that wasn't good. So, for some reason, I've lost all my data on that one, and I didn't know why. So, apologies for that. I will get that one fixed later. But as you can see down there, I've still got the gold and the interactive decoration to give away today. And I will do that one very soon indeed. Does anybody remember who the winner was from last week uh, for the pet? Uh, I can find it, which is okay. Uh, I will just go back and watch my last video. But uh, I'm very concerned about that one. I really am. So why it's disappeared, I don't know. Strange, 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 strange. Mm-hmm. Right, it wasn't me. Me, I've won a Pomerian on the ball. I will have to go back and check my list. So, uh, my other ones I've sent into the games company, which is not a problem. Right, now, while we are in my emails, I'm going to show you a brand new email that's just been sent to me. And you've got the new details for the next event. And then after that, we come back and do the game. So, we've got a steampunk event coming up as well. Now, I'm looking forward to this because it's a brand new theme that we've not had before. This one starts on November the 4th, uh, which for me is basically two days time from now. So a Monday. Uh, now, those items will come into the shop. Then the food event starts on the 7th, everybody. The Gobbling It Up Deck or Contest winners will be announced on the 8th. Okay, Food Club event ends on the 13th. And then the Steampunk items leave the shop on the 19th. So we got a brand new themed event that's not been done before. Now, there is the Adventures Research Nook is the bundle. That's the one you're going to have to pay for. And But there's the Creature from the Deep Pet. That one sounds interesting. I can't wait to see what that one looks like. So we'll have to have a look on that in a second. Cool stuff. Ancient Skeleton Display, Steam Pipe Fence, Furnace Column. Okay, so it could be interesting. Food-wise, those are the event stands, and I loved those. Some fish and chips down there as well. Afternoon tea, some goodies there. Over there, we've got the event one. So that is the actual uh, decor there for the bundle pack. Uh, there is your mystery pet that you will be able to get in the game that you can win. So the creature from the deep. And then actually a chair with a conservatory style window, which I think would be very good for your designs. So it looks very cool indeed, doesn't it? 
Looks like we've got a nice set of pieces down there as well. Some new wall pieces which look really interesting. And I do like that one there. Look at that. Arched roofs, everybody. We're actually getting some like circular roof pieces, which is going to be good. There's some dinosaurs in there as well. Some nice uh, adventure style decoration as well. Now I'm hoping the fish will actually come off the wall and then start singing music. So let's go have a look at that one. And as we come up there, we'll open up the assets now. And let's go do this one. Let's have a look. <coughs> let's preview the contents. Right, we've got some pants there, everybody. So wonderful new trousers or skirt piece there, which looks good. Uh, I think it needs a little bit more sugar and coffee. Don't know what that one is. My man in the kitchen, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, hey, I will have you know that some of the best chefs in the world, or the best chefs in the world, are men. We know how to make a good cup of coffee. But I will say one thing. I make a fantastic cup of hot chocolate. I really am good at that one. Uh, my wife's and my mother's and my sister's hot chocolate sucks big style. But my hot chocolate is perfect. So, yes. I think so too, Vicky. A partner, or in fact, both people should be able to cook. I live in Japan, as you all know, and I'm shocked that many people here cannot cook, both men and women. Uh, and it is really bad. I think people should know how to cook. Okay, I'm still learning cakes, uh, as Phoebe knows. Uh, but I can cook, and I do like to cook. But I think cooking is very important. The best chef in this house is not a man. I can vouch for what you can do. Now, I've seen how you make cakes with some of those things, so yes. Now, if you would like Gordon Ramsay, then okay. Actually, uh, the, t the best mammoth, the ones I really like, Gordon Ramsay is okay. But the ones I liked from the cooking shows that I used to watch was the two fat ladies. They were awesome. They would go around on their motorbike. Uh, they would drive into towns and villages and then do cooking. They were really good. I loved their cooking style. It was great. Uh, Gordon Ramsay is nice, but uh, I've seen other people that are much better. Right. Okay, my hubby calls his dish is the world's best dish. My kids would say, get him out of the kitchen. I think so too. Ricky, tell it to Ricky, Jerry, bring us right about the hot chocolate. Okay, I can talk about the one as I make it. But we've got new skirt pieces. Wonderful coloring. I like it. There is the new wall piece, everybody. That looks good. I like that one. I really, really do. I'm going to enjoy placing a few of those together and make a wonderful conservatory out of this. So that is fantastic. I'm really going to enjoy this one. I really, really am. That will be very nice indeed. Hmm... Right, let's have a look. A gorgeous new hat there. Okay, we got a hat coming into the game. Not so keen on the purple top. That looks really strange. But uh, I'm going to buy it anyway because I like it. Those ones are back again. They were from the camping holiday. Uh, that one does look nice. I think that one's going to be an interesting one to have. Like a workman style outfit there, which looks pretty cool. There is your new pet, everybody. So who wants a squid? Now they taste Fantastic. Uh, I love eating squid. I really, really do. Uh, if you stuff that squid with uh, brown rice, uh, with mushrooms, uh, it's really, 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 really good. Uh, or if you just slice it up and then uh, you deep fry it or you slice it up and then grill it and then eat it with a bit of mayonnaise, it's perfect indeed. It looks strange, but I will buy it, Phoebe. Yes, I really will do so. Uh, and I hope it doesn't cost too many silvers. I'm just starting to build up a game. Um, but I've been not buying things because of the costs, which is a shame. But uh, calamari. Oh, autumn, wind, autumn. I adore calamari. I can eat it so many times. Onion rings, calamari. They are two of my favorites. Mix them together. Beautiful indeed. Squid is fantastic. Really, really is. It's so delicious. It really is. 
So, squid I have over here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I want the squid to take a walk around the restaurant. Uh, that could be a problem. Uh, not really a good idea. Yes. Uh, Barbara said, my husband doesn't need to be rich. He must cook, clean, wash clothes, etc. Did you know I can iron and I know how to use the washing machine and I can even hang clothing too. Yeah. I often complain to my wife how she does the clothing afterwards because uh, I don't always like that bit, but I can do it very well. Uh, I don't let my wife iron. Nope, 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 nope. She did my jeans once. Never again. Never again. Right, that's not going to be an interesting one to buy. A little spoiler style design there. They've got some interesting designs with this one. Hmm. An interesting one. So, I think I will definitely buy that one. Not sure how I can use it yet, uh, but that will be an interesting pattern to get, I think. Right, next one. There is your bundle pack, everybody. So, what do you think? That one's uh, upgraded, of course. Once you've upgraded them, they do look good. Uh, and I like that one as well. Right, Ricky, show us a picture of hot cocoa from where you live, please. Ah, I can't. I'm actually not in my kitchen, so that would be challenging. But the key to making a cocoa ninja is actually using cold water. <clears throat> it really is. So the key to making a beautiful hot cocoa, okay, you need to put the hot water on the bowl, of course. Now, you take the, the, the mug, then you place the powder, the cocoa powder, in the bottom, okay? Uh, I find two spoons is good, three is better. Then you take a little bit of cold water, and then you put the cold water into that, and then you mix it. So basically, it breaks down the powder and mixes that uh, cocoa into a kind of like a, a paste liquid. Once you've actually done that, you then take the hot water and you slowly add and stir as you are doing it. Uh, and then basically, don't do it too quickly because you don't want to dilute it too much. Uh, but basically, you then build it up. Now, if you want to, to make it even better, you can use a little bit of milk. Uh, milk is good as well, but you don't need it. So milk just... It dilutes the flavor a little bit. It does enhance it, but you don't need milk. If you don't want to use cold water, use cold milk. It's good as well. Uh, and that gives it a nice little bit of a, a taste to it as well. Uh, so I would recommend that one. Mm. Uh, once you've actually got it to the very rim, okay, and it's perfect, some people like to put marshmallows on it, and if you do so, uh, then I personally would make sure uh, that the cocoa is very close to the top. Place a single marshmallow in the center and let it melt down. And then maybe on top of the marshmallow, just to give it a little bit more flavor if you are interested, uh, you can sprinkle some other bits. It's very delicious. It really is good. So my, my hot chocolate, my cocoa is very, very good indeed. It's wonderful. Oh, yes. Whipped cream. Fee, whipped cream is another good one as well. I've seen them do that as well. Um, personally, I tend not to put whipped cream on mine because I don't think it settles in very well. Uh, it looks it and tastes a little strange. I'd rather go with the milk than I would with whipped cream. But a very nice bundle pack indeed. It could be good. There is the swordfish on the wall. Uh, now, I'm used to seeing these move and start singing. Uh, I don't think that one's going to do that, though. But uh, a nice wall piece there with a the table. Gorgeous wall pieces coming as well. That one's very nice. New floor ones there. A clock. Now, that's going to be good. I'm hoping that clock is actually high off the ground. Uh, if it's high off the ground and it's moving, perfect. <clears throat> then I can place it up against a wall piece, but we'll have to wait and see. Hmm... Yeah, the drawings, they do that here in Japan as well, Pete. They do. Uh, I've gone to some of the stores here, and they've made character faces. They've done hearts and other shapes. Uh, but some of the best ones I've seen have actually got little pandas inside. So very, very nice indeed. 
So you can actually get like uh, sweets that melt into your chocolate that then create a kind of like animal character inside the chocolate as well. And it looks very cool indeed. They usually come and they're hooked on the side. You then take it, place it inside, it melts, and then you end up with the shape forming on the layer. It's very cool. Okay, that one I want as well. That is very nice indeed. Look at that. That does look good. So I'm going to create a very nice uh, wall feature on this one, maybe even a building. Okay, that one's strange. So it's kind of hanging out the bottom there. So you've got some cogs there moving. Hmm, could be interesting as a design. I can't wait to see how that one works. Okay, there's the bundle pack again. A beautiful pink skirt. Okay. Does that go with the purple top I saw earlier? <gasps> yes! Okay, wonderful. New lamppost at last. Okay, now we're talking. That I want. Okay, I needed some new lampposts. That's good. Globe is back again. Bundle we've already seen. Luggage we've seen before. Okay, that lamp is back again. Ooh, new table design. Ooh, that one's nice. Look at that. Look at the legs on that one as well. Oh, I like that. I do like that. And do, 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 do. I've tried to do drawings, but they end up like mud. Oh, practice makes perfect. It really does. Table looks good, Hesme Cutie. I agree. I want that one. That one looks very nice indeed. Okay, there's the other table from previous years. So it looks like that's coming back, but the old one versus the new one. Hmm, okay. New wall pieces again. That one's nice. Very unusual designs we're getting this time. Okay, the telescope's back again. Pipes. I hope they connect to each other, or I hope there's a pipe piece I can use. Okay, this is going to be interesting. We got pipes in the wall. Hmm. So maybe we can create a kind of like a pipe effect. Then on top of that, you can kind of build your restaurant above it. So ladies, design wise, I'm looking to see like an underground element with the pipes. And then above that, you've got your restaurant building continuing up and looking more beautiful. So a layered style design. So when you start creating, please do so. Oh, look at that. Now that is very nice. That is very nice. That must be the window. Oh, look at that grating floor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That one is good. That one is a must to have. That is going to make some wonderful grating around the side and inside as well. That's a good one. I like that. There's the event stand. Look at that. We so need these in the game as ones you can buy. They need to be interactive decoration. They really do. I could place those down around my restaurant, create a nice little outdoor scene as well. That would be perfect. That really would. It, why, Mama, I agree. It can make so much fun here. Robin says, so happy to be here. Well, hello, Robin, and welcome, welcome, welcome. We do some strange things on this channel sometimes, so enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Another event stand. I mean it. They seriously need to bring these into the game. The event stands are fantastic. I'd actually buy that if it were a decoration. I really would. If they made these into skins, it would be even better. They've got to do, they really have to do this. They're missing such a wonderful opportunity. They need to make skins using these machine designs or they need to make them as decoration in the game because these are event stands and the event stands are wonderful, but they disappear. Here. I want them in the game. I really do. Uh, it would be wonderful. So they are the event stands and we just can't get them. They are, there's the double window there as well. So Barbara, you've got that one as well. Very cool indeed. A very large window there. There's the door. Now that one does look good too. It's very submarine-like in some ways, or very like a factory-like, so underground style appearance. Oh man, that would be perfect for the pizza or for the pie-making machine. So just using that as a skin, like we do need this, we really do. 
I really hope they listen one day and they do do this. They've got to. Okay, these are beautiful and they look fantastic. And I would love to have these as skins for the machines uh, so we could redesign the skins and the machines to fit the theme as well. Yeah, I could have so much fun. Okay, new lamp piece, everybody, coming in there. So that's going to be good. I think that one will be a must. Okay, angry, my friend. Hello as well. We truly need these. We do, we do, we do. And look at that floating lamp piece again. Oh, I hope it's not expensive this time. I missed out on the last ones because I just could not afford them. They were just too much, but that is good. That's going to be nice for my dinosaur collection. So that would go very well with the others. And that's super cool as well. Okay. Nice new floor piece there again. Oh, yes. Oh, I really hope those cogs turn. I hope those cogs turn. Okay a four-part door the two centerpieces slide open of course and i really hope the cogs turn uh creating the effect that the door is opening because of the cogs that would be fantastic that door is a must yes robin this is all for the next event so these are all for the next event yep Ah, uh, you finished framing your roof. I haven't watched one of your videos in a while, my, I'm afraid, because I haven't had the time, but I will have to go back and check them. Uh, so you finished your roof. Yay. So how much are you going to do the inside as well? So I can't wait to see what's next. Um, it's been interesting watching the build, but the roof is finally done. I agree, Ryan. The door is so cool. That is so cool. Uh, now I'm just hoping that I can afford them. That is the thing. So a double door there, but no single doors, at least as far as I can see. Hang on, let's go back and have a look. So done on that one. So no, there was a single door. There was the archway. So we've got the arch door and the double doors there. Uh, so two very wonderful doors. Oh, I hope they don't cost a lot. I really hope so. So that is what we're getting. And that is very nice indeed. Indeed. Then there's the bundle packs as well. And we do need those event stands. They need to be skins. They're fantastic. Look at that central piece there. They're so cool. So cool indeed. Right, let's get back to the game. Okay, the game is now reloading and I'm coming back. Okay, I'll be doing the inside as well, starting to set up to take commissions as well. Really? Ooh, that would be good. Okay, that would be wonderful. I hope you do. I really hope you do. Take some of your videos and make them into a advertising style video as well from different stages. But I hope you do. Hmm. Commissions take a long time though. Here in Japan, they have like a lot of uh, model houses, but very small uh, pieces and very small homes. They're very popular as well. Your one is uh, much bigger, so that's going to be good as well. Right now, I need to do one more of those, don't I? So how many down And I need five of those, two more going. That one I'm going to trash. That's an impossibility for me. All right, I'll take those and I'll take that one. I can do an order now though, which is good. There we go, got my blue. All right, I may have to do 10 of these, I think then, if I'm going to get this one. So otherwise it's gonna be a challenge to do. Hmm. Okay, what's this one? Pasta carbonara, can I do that one? No, the bacon's gotta grow yet. It's gonna take hours, so we ignore that one. All right, BLT sandwich. We can do that one if we get the bread. Oh, I need to sell off some items. A few hours to go. All right, let's have a look. What do I need? So those are all growing and producing, which is not a problem. Uh, I need two more of those down there, which is fine. Okay, I've got too much of some items, I think. So something in my storage is taking up space. 
can't do any more ones there till my truck is done, which is producing later. Let's see what I've got excess of. I can sell some money. So what do we have that's too much of? I got seven honeys down there. That's too much honey. How can I use the honey? I can make some drinks again, can't I? There we go. Honey, honey, do, 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 do. There we go, beautiful honey. Honey is good. And what do I need to collect? Okay, 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 okay. I need bread over there, I saw. I can do that now. I need the greens. Typical, isn't it? I use them when I need them. Uh, sorry, I wasn't able to continue mod to you. I've been busy with streaming. No problems. And Shelly, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. It's all good, Angry. No problems. It's not an issue. Um, every now and I remove and add people anyway, so all is good. I need two eggs. No, 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 no. I need to do that one. I need another egg in a minute. Keith Lorraine's down there waiting. Pasta carbonara will be later once the bacon's done. <laughs> All right, let's go sell some items. All right, what should I sell? We've got lots of these down there. That will give me a lot of money. If I break it down into fours, then it's easier for people to buy. So there we go, 408. There's one. There's two of those. There's 408 down there. Some squids down there as well, which is beautiful. There we go. Squid, 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 squids. There we go. Let's get myself some more money. I got a few of those I don't need. Let me sell some of those. More money. There we go. I need the cash. I run out of resources. What else down there? Hmm, some nice items to sell off there. Let's go do some some more. There we go. Sell off those. Beautiful. Okay. Money, 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 money. <laughs> okay. Right, where were we? The, blah, blah, blah. Did anyone get snow last night? Nope, not here. Hmm. Yeah, I know. That's always the case. Every time I sell something, it comes up on my truck next time. And I'm often thinking, like, like seriously, you just did that to me? So, like, that's so annoying when that happens. It really is. Uh, I hate it when that happens myself. So pain in the backside when that does it. You sell the items and it's in the truck. And it's like, what? I don't believe this. Like, again. So, yep, always happens. But I won't have to worry, so... But at least I get us another silver out of it, which is good. Right. Okay. Going to buy. Help yourself. There's some nice goodies down there. And if you want them, you are welcome to have them. Right. I can leave those orders till later. Let's see if anybody's bought them. We refresh. And they're still there. No. Right. Now, let's go have a look. What designs do we have? I need to do a giveaway. It's 10.30. We've got some prizes to do. And there is a beautiful volcano with the dragons from last time. Now, we did this one last time, and it still looks fantastic. Uh, so, I do like it indeed. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Now, does anybody else have a Halloween design that I can show off? So, we've done some, but I've not shown everybody. So, do you have a gorgeous Halloween design? If so, I need to show the audience. Now, Ninja's been asking for a while. So, let's go do yours now, and I can show that to the world. So, let's see what you've got. Right, okay. Daniel's Food Place Level 15 Club Meow. Ah, they've been bought now. Good. 
Let's see who grabbed those. It looks like it was a food snatch there. So do you recognize yourself in that picture? But I will take the money. Look at that. There we go. Taking me up to 31,000. Very nice indeed. That's a little bit more because I spent lots of money last time. Right, so I'm going to go to Ninja. So club is Meow. M-E-O-W. Meow, 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 me. Okay. Right, meow, me, and it's Daniels. Okay. Let's see what you've got. Ah, you've gone with a very Art Deco style design. So, you have a very unusual building layout there. It's almost like you are creating a painting out of this, isn't it? So, there you go, young ninja. Look at what we're showing off. So, her design is very Art Deco style. Very cool indeed. I like it. Simplistic, but still very pretty. Hmm. Why do you have the hearts in the back, though? So, that bit I'm confused by. So, maybe you just didn't do that one. All the hearts were there for a reason. I'm not sure. But uh, it's nice. I like it. I do like that one. So, very pretty little design. Maybe I should make everybody count the purple squares. That would be a good one. Hmm. Could be cool. Okay, very nice indeed. So, anyone else got another time? So, who else has a Halloween design? We need to do a giveaway, as you know. So, so far, we have given away voucher packs and the gems. And last time, I also gave away the pet. So, this time, we need an interactive decoration and the gold. Now, I can't say who got the pet from last time without watching the last video. So, that will be a bit of a problem for me. I need to go back and check that one. The game always knows what you have, yeah, or don't have in my case. So I was saving that meat and I was going to use that meat that I had to actually make something. And now I can't. Right, well, that seafood pizza is now made. So which one of my hoodies needed the seafood pizza? I think it was Sonia. Let me, let me check. One of my hoodies needed three seafood pizzas. No, nope, not that one. Yeah. Uh. I have a request, please, Food Street. Okay. I know, very close to level up. I'm hoping I will sneak over today, but I don't know. Right. These helping hands, I need to be able to see these helping hands when I'm actually visiting a fellow chef. I really do in my team. Like, if I go and visit now, Okay, I go down there, I do the revives that are available. Uh, they're all now done. Now, if I come back to my club as an example, I can't see who needs a helping hand. And that's very annoying. I really wish that I had the helping hands carry over on the imagery. That one I can't do, so I have to keep going backwards every time just to be able to do this. And I really wish that I did have it there so I could check. One of these needed three seafood pizzas, so let's have a look. There we go. I've done it now, so beautiful. That is wonderful. Look at that. That was gorgeous. There we go. Right, so let's go back up on that one. There was a request in the chat I saw. Okay, so ninjas I've just done. Yeah, let's go back down. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, Chef's Temptation. Okay, let's go have a look. Aha, the greens are now ready. What is it I need to make? It was that one. I'm doing that one. What else was there? So we're good there, good there, good there, good there. Was it the sandwich? Yes, it was. There we go. Beautiful. Starting my sandwich now. Yeah, lovely, 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 lovely. I like it. Coming together very well. Right, Chef's Temptation. So, T-E-M-P-T-A-T-I-O-N. Temptation. I've got lots of temptations, usually food. Right, temp Chef Temptations. And we're looking for Mel's. Okay, there we go. Let's go have a look at Mars. 
Yep, that's the one I was looking for next. Let's zoom out. Oh, look at that ghost. Oh, my God. That is super cool. Ah, oh, look at that. That is very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Cookie says, you look so different than when I saw you last. Well, I change and I get older and grayer and I have a haircut. So, yes, I do. Yeah, that is very nice indeed. I like it. And Cookie, hello, by the way. Hmm. But I do wish I could see the helping hands. That is very nice. And that double dinosaur doorway entrance. That is cool. And everybody still has their gargoyles reversed. Okay. So why does everybody have them around a different way? Is it because of the way the gates are formed, I wonder? Hmm. Uh, I need to check that one because it seems very strange. I suppose because it's mirrored, that's why they're reversed. But it's very weird having the gargoyles facing outwards and then inwards, depending on which direction they place. It looks weird for me. Really does. Okay, but uh, you put windows over the door, for over the, the actual wall pieces, which is good. Nice doorway on the inside. Uh, I like this design. That's good indeed. Using the black jack-o'-lanterns there around there with the decoration as well. The lava bed as well. Very nice. And the ghost is on a broomstick. Okay. That's cool. Right, now, giveaway time. We need to do a giveaway, and for this giveaway, I'm going to keep it nice and simple. This is for the gold coins. I really hope I didn't give them away last week. Uh, my data crashed, and I seem to have lost everything. I thought that was something strange when I couldn't find my file the other day. I'm going to have to check now. Right, let's go open this one up. And... Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. That's how they look, is it? It just seems strange to me, that's all. Open Nightbot in a new tab. Yeah, it's because they're mirrored. They, they are backwards, though. They just look strange. So, it looks weird. Right, Nightbot is now opening. Right, according to this, I need to log out and log back in again to enable it, so not a problem. Log in with YouTube, yes, indeed. And there we go, we logged in again, and it's coming up with the Nightbot application request. Yes, I'm going to say yes, you have access to my account. I will allow you to post on my page, and there we go. Right, now we go to my giveaways, and we clear in everybody down there. There. Bum 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 bum. So moderators accepted, regular supporters and users all done and dusted, and live chat enabled so I can see all of the messages. And keyword enabled. Right, I'm going to ask a very, very simple question, everybody. And you know me, my questions are easy. So, uh, in this case, it's for a thousand gold coins. Good luck. Let's go into privacy mode so I can get my answer. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it,
Right, let's think. Okay, right. Yes, I'm going to enjoy this one. <laughs> okay, right. I have my answer, everybody. So, let me go type in the word. Yeah, easy one, Ricky. It's very easy, don't worry. This one's not challenging at all. Right, a very simple and easy one. Did it, did it, did it. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this one. Right, okay, we're going to do a bit of general knowledge here based on the picture that I'm looking at. And I think you're going to enjoy this one, everybody. So good luck, good luck, good luck. Here is your clue coming up in the chat now that relates to this beautiful restaurant. <laughs> the Friendly Ghost was the first novel tune to feature Casper. Who released it in 1945? So, uh, for those of you who were around in 1945, so you should be able to get this one. Uh, for those of you who don't, well, you're going to have to look on the Wikipedia or maybe some other location, like maybe your kids' toys or videos. So, The Friendly Ghost was the first novel tune to feature Casper. So, who released it in 1945? Now, I think most people are going to be waiting till somebody types in the answer, and then they will actually do it that way. So, I like this one. So, what is the answer, I wonder? Okay, right, we've got some choices in the stream already. So, I wonder who looked and I wonder who uh, actually just copies. See, I told you a nice easy one today. BB says Walt Disney. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Nemi says, I don't know. That's okay, Nemi. Just choose one of the answers and copy and paste. Yeah, that's what many people do. It's all okay. It's all fun. And it's okay by me. Phoebe says, MGM. Okay. <laughs> right, okay, so I think it was Bollywood. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I like this one. This answer's right. I checked it on Google. Hey, that's cheating. Telling everybody the answer. Uh, so, The Friendly Ghost was the first novel tune to feature Casper, who released it in 1945. Right. Nemi says, I think it's Izzy Sparbert. Who is Izzy Sparbert? That one I don't know. 
Right, I think we've got enough answers. Let's spin this one. It's a nice easy one for you to keep it going today. So good luck, everybody. You will be a winner. And all you have to do is type the answer in one time. We've got 15 eligible out of all of the people here. First person to get it is going to be Heather Rudleff. Congratulations. You have just won a wonderful prize from the game's company, as usual. So a thousand gold coins. Yay, indeed. Right, next one. Who's it going to be? A wonder. And winner is going to be a protagonist, Amanda Coella. Okay. I just saw diamond type protagonist. Okay, Amanda is winner number two for a thousand gold coins. Okay, there we go. And winner number three is going to be do 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 BB. <laughs> uh, I like it. Phoebe, you just won a thousand gold coins with all of your answers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like it, I like it, I like it. Right, everybody, I need, so Heather, Amanda, Quella, Phoebe, I need your restaurant, your club name, and your level in the chat. And I love this design, that is very good, Mal. I wonder if anybody else in the team has a beautiful design as well. So, did anyone else go Halloween crazy or not? No, that's still the old, uh, ooh, that is very nice, though. I like that, but nope. Uh, let's have a look. Any other players down there with any designs? Let's have a check. Mm -hmm. Nope. Let's go back. Right. So Amanda's put her information into the chat. So crazy for food chef Quilla. Okay. Copy, 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 copy. 46. Thank you very much. Right, okay. Cookie Madness says Heather. Level 48, okay. And Phoebe says, uh, please give the prize to. What game is this? This is Food Street. So, Peter, do you want to win the prize, yes or no, or should I respin it for somebody else, or do you want to give it away? So, the answer, everybody, by the way, was Paramount. So, Paramount was the answer for this one. Nice, easy one. Right, Peter, 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 restaurant club name and level, please, in the chat. And I will paste your name down there instead of uh, Phoebe's. So just need that one. Right, the answer, if you want to have a check on the Wikipedia, relates to Casper. It was created by Seymour Reed and Joe Orillo. Uh, but they sold the rights to the book to Paramount Pictures. And basically, uh, in 1945, they released this one with a few differences from the book. Okay. But uh, uh, it's very good. Interesting. Interesting. Casper uh, tried to commit suicide. I was very surprised by that one. So a dead ghost tried to kill itself. That's so sweet. No, MGM didn't win. Sorry. Right. Wizards in both club and restaurant level 35. Okay. Let's copy your details down on that side. And there we go. I got Peter's information now. And lovely. Right, just one more prize to be won today. That is the interactive decoration. So I will save that one till later. There, you always say they're easy, tricky, Ricky. They are always easy. I always know the answers to my clues. So everything I type is easy for me to get. So I never have problems guessing my answers. Uh, they are so easy. I never have any issues at all. Yep, never have a problem with my clues. They are easy ones to get. Yep, I always know the answer. 
Ah, but absolutely. Ah, Peter, I hear that uh, your president is going to be living with you as well. So now I know why you moved down there. So wherever you go, he follows as well. So congratulations to you. Right, Nemi says, I've got to go. Ricky, see you next stream. Good night and God bless. Well, thank you for being here. Uh, we've still got till 12 o'clock anyway, so you've still got plenty of time, everybody else. You don't have to leave just yet. Yeah, but I won't do the giveaway for the next one till a little bit later. So. Oh, I collected the, bake, the meat too close. Uh oh, that's going to be dangerous. I need four of those, and I've got three down there. Another one done in a moment. Ooh, that's going to be good. One minute, 39 seconds, and I can send away my truck. So everybody that helped me, thank you very much on that one. I really appreciate it. So one minute, 28 seconds now, and the clock is ticking. Oh, yes. That's because you know the answers. Well, of course I know the answers. Uh, my mother never raised a stupid child. No, 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 no. Uh, any riddles, any clues are easy. I can get every single one right. Hmm. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Here's one for you. So there you go. Let's see if you know this one, everybody. Here's a nice little riddle for you in the stream to get your taste buds tingling as you think about my clues. So a woman has four kids named North, South, East. What is the name of the fourth child? So what's the answer, everybody? So let's see if you can do this one. Did you get my vote, Ricky? Yes, I did. And you just won, by the way, uh, a thousand gold coins. A thousand gold coins, Peter. So, uh, nice little clue in the chat. So, a woman has four kids named North, South, East. What is the name of the fourth child? Uh, no, Phoebe, that's fine. That one's perfect. <laughs> oh, I should use this one for my giveaway for the main one. Oh my god. This is where you shouldn't copy and paste. Read it again, everybody. Read it again. Okay. <laughs> I love this riddle. I really do. I really do love this riddle. I really do love this riddle. It's so simple and so brilliant in itself. Yeah. Right, well, there we go. I've now got a silver voucher. So thank you very much, Tully and Barbie doll. Yay, another silver. That's taking me up to eight now, which is nice. Right. Uh, yeah, I just changed it. It's slightly different, but it's still the same. So a woman has four kids named North, South, East. What is the name of the fourth child? So that's basically it, Phoebe. Yes. <laughs> uh. Right, now, everybody, if you get this one wrong, you have to post this on your Facebook page, okay? So, if you get the answer wrong and you know you got it wrong, I want you to all post it on your Facebook page, okay? Promise me that. <laughs> 
So, uh, read mine. So, if you got it wrong, you need to do it. <laughs> and you know you got it wrong. <laughs> it's so funny. I love this one. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. You have to post it on your Facebook page if you got it wrong, everybody. You really do. Oh, I like that one. The answer is what, by the way. So first is north, second is south, third is east, and the fourth is what. So there's no question mark in the question or in the statement. It's a statement. So a woman has four kids named north, south, east. What is the fourth? What is the name of the fourth child? So it's not a question. It's a statement. Uh, so <laughs> uh, I like it. If you got it wrong, you have to post it on your Facebook page, everybody. I can't believe all those people said uh, West. So did you like that one? That was a nice, easy one. I should have used that one for my giveaway. It would have been so much better. Three truck orders. You're kidding me? Like, seriously? That's stupid. I've just done that. Right, let's keep going. And I need milks down there now. So, my box is full up. Okay, we can ignore that one now. That is fine. We'll wait till later. Just keep building up resources. Seafood pancake. I better get one of those on the go. I need eggs for that. Right, seafood pancake, there we go. And let's do some of the sushi dishes, I think. Maybe that might be good. We'll trash that one. Okay, ice cream I'm going to trash as well. All right, there's some salad items coming up there. That looks a little bit challenging to do as well, so I better get some of these done, hadn't I? We're going to need more greens down there. Okay. Gonna get a few of those on the go for later. Okay, need some more greens done again. Okay, build that one up, get some of those down there as well. Beautiful, that is nice. I'm happy with that one. Uh, another person, someone's mum has four sons, north, east, and west. What is the name of the fourth son? Uh, but that's got a question mark in it though. Ah, oh, hang on. Another version is someone's mum has four sons. North, east, west. What is the name of the fourth son? Hmm. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> ah, that I yeah. Okay, that's. That one's easy. Yep, someone. Someone's mum has four sons. So north, east, and west. The fourth son is someone. Yep. That one's easy. See, even I know the rizzles. The answer's someone. When is the scooter coming back? Never. 
Uh, after my dissatisfaction with it, I said, I don't want to see it again. And they said, OK, Ricky, we agree. It wasn't perfect. We're not going to bring the scooter back. So the scooter will no longer come back to the game. That event has been cancelled. Uh, it's gone the way of the community challenge maybe once a year. Mm -hmm. So never coming back. It's gone. Never to see the daylight again. Right, smarty pants. I know. <laughs> I'm intelligent. So I know. I'm smarty pants. That's right. Yep. Uh, Barbara, tight jeans. Makes you think a lot. Mm -hmm. That's why I like riddles, everybody. I find riddles to be very stimulating and interesting. I really do. So, here's another good one for you. They do, they do stimulate the brain. I totally agree. Okay, here's one for you. So what has four in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three in the evening? Barbara says, you cracked me with jeans too tight. Yeah, trust me, Barbara, it's not cracking. Oh! <laughs> uh. So what has four in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three in the evening? There's a good one for you. Very, very famous riddle, this one. And a very, very good one indeed. One of my favorite ones. <clears throat> so what has four in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three in the evening? Let's see if you know the answer to that one. Okay, let's keep producing some goods down here. I want to start getting some things ready. Okay, all right. I did my creams because I wanted to do some of these items down here. So there's one, two now on the go. I need pineapples again. So. Uh, well, that's a shame. Okay, so nobody's answered the question yet. So what has four in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three in the evening? Who can give me the answer to that riddle? Barbara, yes, it is a human, so it's man. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed that riddle when I first heard it. That was a good one. I thought, that's good. That's a good one. But I do agree, riddles stimulate the brain. When I start calling you riddle man then, no, just tricky Ricky is good. Tricky Ricky, I think, is fine. That one's okay. That fits me nicely. So, no problems indeed on that one. Okay. Milks will be produced in another 10 minutes or so, so we can ignore that for the moment. All right. Beautiful. Cycle of life. It is, Ryan. It is the cycle of life. Yes. So, the first one is a baby. The second one is a young adult. And the third one is an old man. which I found very interesting when I first heard it. So four legs in the morning because they're crawling, two in the afternoon because they're walking, and three because they need the walking stick. Now I'm actually tempted to collect everything because I want the XP, and the XP will be good for me on this one. So that's the problem, but I need orders. I need this, the 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 motivation to do it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, well, let's feed my animals anyway. I've got to get those done again. So I haven't been focusing on those recently. Right, apple juice. Yeah, okay, can I tap on it that way? Okay, no. Okay, do it another way. Let me do it another way in a minute. Right, let's feed my pets. Feed my pets. 
Rick, I sent you a picture of a giant zombie walking around my restaurant. A giant zombie walking around your restaurant? Okay, let's go have a look. So, a giant zombie walking around your restaurant. Facebook Messenger. How did you get that? How did you manage to get a giant zombie walking around the restaurant? Ah! I know the drink me, eat me. Okay, only one colour, but not one size. Only one colour, but not one size. Stuck at the bottom, yet easily flies. Present in sun, but not in rain. Doing no harm and feeling no pain. What is it? So, one more time. Okay, I'll come back to that one in a second. Right. Did you do that with... Uh, okay... So, shows up if you have the Wonderland table out and glitch trees. Really? Okay, right. Let's go do this one. So, Wonderland table and glitch a tree. I've got to do that. I have to try that one. I need a zombie. So, Wonderland table. Uh, special, special, special. Wonderland table. Wonderland table. It's items, isn't it? Wonderland table. Did I get the Wonderland table? Eat me, drink me. I can't remember now. <laughs> Did I get that one? It's interactive decoration, isn't it? The curious table. That one, yes. Yes, that one. And you say, if I glitch trees into that one, so let's place those into the middle, and then we'll do something creative. And what kind of tree? So what tree did you glitch into it? Uh, what tree did you glitch into it? So any trees okay, or just uh, different trees? So like a decoration tree or a special tree, I wonder... So, what kind of tree did you glitch in? So, what kind of tree? Let's see. Ah, glitch trees together. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's see what I can do when I glitch trees together with this one. So let's try something a little strange. We're going to bring some apple trees over. Oh, hang on. What are they going to do? They're drinking first. Let's see. Do they do anything? They're regular characters. But they just walk away, though. Hmm. I need to glitch trees into each other. Okay, something strange here. Let's try the, 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 the indoor decoration. Where's the piano? Piano, 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 piano. Let's test this one. There's my piano. Place that one down there. Just colour the floor for the moment so I know the place. Okay. All right, let's see how this works. Okay. Right, I got the table out in my restaurant at the moment. So there we go. So it's in my restaurant. Uh, I need tables in the restaurant. Okay, so I've got to bring my tables over. Okay. Let's bring my tables over. Okay. 
Let's bring my tables over. Let's bring some tables over as well. Let's see what it can do. Right, now according to this, I need to glitch some trees together. So, that could be fun. Right, I don't see your picture on your land, Ricky. Yeah, I changed it and put it away. Ah! Oh, sorry. I, okay. I forgot to put it back. Apologies. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. So, I've now moved the tables into there. There's some trees I'm going to glitch in. i got a zombie at the moment who's drinking from the water. He's going to go small. But trouble is, when they go big, they just disappear shortly within the thing. So, uh, like, there's a big zombie dude there, but then he just walks away. So, I need to glitch the trees in, I'm being told, to make this one more effective. So, let's see what it does. I'm going to use apple trees. Are they okay? Right, so, uh, copy, 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 copy. Right, uh, make that one there active. No, I can do this one. So, copy that layout into that one there. Yes, there we go. Right, go into the edit on that one. Put that back into storage. There we go, store the item. Come back down. Find the uh, piano again. Place the piano back down there, come back out, come back into the active, take my tree over, place my tree down there. Okay, come on that one, copy that, copy that back over to there, say yes, go into this one, edit the layout. Okay, take away the piano, put that back into storage, and come back down again, find the piano. Place the piano there, close that one off, okay, and come back to the main one. Uh, okay, glitch, oh, no, 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 no. Glitch a tree, now I lost it, typical. Okay, got to do it again. Ah, okay, let's go back, do that again, go back to that one. All right. Try that again. No, nope, I broke it. Hate it when I do that. Almost the end of the stream. No, 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 no. You've got ages yet. <laughs> Go back. I broke my glitch. Okay, let's try this again. Go back into that one. Copy that one. Copy there into there. Yes, there we go. Come back over. Edit the layout. Zoom in slightly. Remove my table. Put that back into storage. Bring that back down again. Right. Find the piano. Place the piano over the top. Okay, close that one off. Okay, go back into the main one. Click on the edit mode. Grab a tree. Bring that over. Place that down there. Okay. And then go back into the main one again. No, 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 no. Copy that one over to there. Yes. Edit that one. The piano is back. Do I need to glitch uh, the actual uh, table into the trees as well or not? So, do I need to glitch the table into there, I wonder. So, let's put that into storage and try. So, let's see what happens. So, I've glitched in some trees together, as you said. Do I need to glitch this into that or not? Okay. But with your one, you glitched in just two trees like that. Yes, Susan. 
So you've glitched in two trees. Do you have the table standing loose or have you added something on top of the small big table or not? Uh, all I know is that it happens when I'm glitching trees. Yeah, okay. So it walks around when you're glitching. Okay. Hmm, interesting. So only when you're glitching does it do it. Strange. Well, I'm going to try something else for the moment anyway, because I want to see what it does. Not that one. Bring that over to there. Place that down there for the moment. And let's see. So close that one off. And I'm going to go back to the main one. Let's see if we can entice it to do something different. I need to go visit. Let's take away the piano. Okay, well, I've got the piano and the table mixed in together. Uh, let's see if anything happens. Mm-hmm. How long do I have to wait, I wonder? The tables are loose. Yeah, okay, so I don't have the table together. Okay. Well, I've got a little person running around on that one anyway, and then climbing on the piano, which is kind of cool, and then climbing into my tree and drinking. Then she goes big. Uh, so that's kind of interesting, but doesn't really do it, does it? I'm not seeing anything happening. Ah! So, not seeing anyone. Maybe I'll get something later. We'll leave it as it is. You never know. I might get something showing up. We'll have to wait and see. The more is better, the game goes crazy, and then it can happen. Mm, things do go weird sometimes, don't they? Um, but now I've got people sitting on my trees and pianos, but not really moving around. Do I need to be in edit mode when it does it or not? Interesting, isn't it? So many cool features that the game does sometimes, but some things do look a little strange when it does go a little bit on the crazy side. Right, now I can get the milk that I'm waiting for, which is good, but I can't remember why I needed the milk now. I've forgotten. Okay, what was I doing? I can't remember now. Oh, well. Things happen, things go, things change, and all is good. I wanted the milk for something, and I don't know why. Mm, it's not doing it for me. Strange. Strange indeed. I'm getting the giant people there, but then they just walk away, and they're small... Go back with my grass. I got a big purple piece in the middle now. Do 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 do. Hmm. Which one? Which other? Deck? There was the carousel, I think, before that was having issues with giant characters rowing around. That one was a little bit strange. I think that had a bit of a glitchy problem with it before. The carousel one. Uh, they would go around and around and around, and then the people would be very strange going around in a large circle. That would be interesting to see. I wonder if that's still causing problems, or did they fix that one too? Let's see. Do I still have it? It was that carousel one. That was causing a few issues in the past. 
Mm-hmm. And let's place that one down. Let's leave it in the center for the moment. See if anything happens. Give it a carrot. You never know. That one was causing issues before. People were going on that, then it was going large and moving around and very strange on itself. I wonder if that will do it again. Hope so, but we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, no large zombies. Right, if the next giveaway I ask for a pet rock, why? Why would you do that? Uh, pet rocks are cool, but uh, they don't really do much. They just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Mm. I think some of the other decoration is much more fun and much more interesting. <coughs> but the choice is yours. Uh, but actually, no, you can't. The next one is an interactive decoration. The actual pet has been done. Ah, okay, right. I need to answer your riddle that you gave me as well, don't I? So, hang on a second. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, you said only one color, but not one size. Okay. <coughs> only one color, but not one size. Stuck at the bottom, yet easily flies. Present in sun... But not in rain, doing no harm and feeling no pain. So only one color, mm -hmm. but not one size. Okay, that's interesting. Stuck at the bottom and easily flies. Okay. Hmm, this could be interesting. Present in sun, but not in rain. Mm -hmm. Doing no harm and feeling no pain. Ooh, I like this one. What is it? This young lady is going to be a very, very nice riddle indeed. I'm going to enjoy this one. So, present, only one color, but not one size. Okay, stuck at the bottom, yet easily flies. Hmm. Stuck at the bottom, but easily flies. Only one color, but not one size. Present in... S ah! Oh, I like this one. I like this one. Ah! ah, ah, ah. Oh, that is good. That is really good. Okay, it only has one color. Correct. Okay. And the size changes all the time. Correct. Okay. It's stuck at the bottom. Yep, it's always at the bottom. It's never up high. Uh, but it does fly. Yes, that is true. It's present in the sun, but not in the rain. Mm, okay. Yeah, I agree with that one as well. Uh, doing no harm and feeling no pain. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I like this one you gave me. That is good. I know the answer to this one. Now, the answer for this one is... In fact, does anybody else know it first? I'm going to type the answer in. And I've got it here. So I've got the answer. I know this one. I know this one. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I got this one. Barbara says it's boring. No, 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 no. Barbara, it's a shadow. <coughs> it's a shadow. That one is good. Okay, well, I'm not getting the zombies, the large zombies, so I will have to play with this one later and see if I can work that one out. But it's not giving me the zombies that I want at this moment, so I will have to tweak in and adjust it and see what it does later. But fingers crossed. Uh, did you Google it? No, not yet.
I was thinking letters to start with, and then I thought, mm, no, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. So then I was going through the colors, and I read like uh, different colors, and I said black. And then when I thought black, hang on, only in the sun, but not in the rain. That's when it hit me. Mm. That was good. That was good. I like that one. So, did you Google it? No, not yet. Is it on Google? Mm. That was a good one. Okay. I like that one. That made my day. Right, I need to do the last giveaway today. How do you know, Ricky, but difficult for us? I like riddles, Ayumi. I have heard it in the past as well, many years ago. So, that's one of the things. So, yeah, one of the things I need to think about. But uh, I got it with the rain and the sun. So it's always at the bottom of your feet. Uh, the flies bit was confusing, but then I was thinking of a shadow and flying of a plane and things like that. Uh, but uh, I was going through the colors and I thought black and then like, ah, okay, hang on. Because like in uh, Peter Pan, okay, his shadow flies. The last part was tricky. I never would have got it on that part. That was difficult. Right, giveaway time. We need to do a giveaway for an interactive decoration. So one of you needs to do something. So should I do a riddle or should I do something nice and easy? But we need, either way, we need a restaurant. So who's got a restaurant for me that I can look at everybody? Right, I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive in wind. What am I? <laughs> <laughs> I speak without a mouth. Yeah, that is an echo. Hello, 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 hello. The hearing is the cliffs and the valley. The reezy, the mouth is a repetition of it. I have no body, which is true because it's already left, and you are alive in the wind. Yeah, it's an echo. That one was good as well. We have to do this. We have to do riddles on our pages and see if people can guess them. That's good fun. So riddle me this. Okay, but I need a restaurant. Please give me another restaurant, everybody. Where do I go for the last giveaway? So these are your restaurants, and I need to know, no, 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 no. Where do I go to give you your giveaway prize? Can't do that one, so we're going to bin that. We can collect the donuts, which means I can do that one as well. And I've got that one over there. So there we go. I can serve the kimchi too, even though the money's not a lot of money, which is very measly and tight. Right, so I should have another one of those pizzas ready now. There we go. Eggs and bacon, which is good. The cream, I'm going to say no. I like that. That was good. Okay, collect the reward. And so close. Oh, my God. So close. I really am getting close to leveling up. I'm going to have to trash that one. And I need to collect eight of the dishes. So we're going to do that one down there. There we go. More XP. And come on, give it to me. Give it to me. No, still so close. That's not fair. Right. Restaurant, please. Restaurant, please. Restaurant, please. I need a restaurant. Then I can base my clue around the restaurant. And so close to 62. Will I be able to do it in 20 odd minutes? I really hope so. But I doubt it. I need another French toast, which is over there as well. So that one I can do later. I need a help task, which will be wonderful. Right. Lovely, 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 lovely. Get my sugar going again for later. Bacon still producing 50 odd minutes for that one. No problems as well. Please wait. Okay. Uh, I think of a better one next time. Please do. There are lots of good riddles on the internet as well if you want to ask any on those side. Uh, Red Knights Food Club Cafe Barbie Doll. Okay, young lady, let's go see what you've got. So, do, 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 do. Anybody else need any help while I'm here? I've done most of them. Now, by the way, everybody, one of my team members needs a little bit of help. 
And what she needs is two of the egg tarts. So does anybody have the dim sum machine and egg tarts? If so, young Barbara here is in need of two of those. She actually needs four, but she's requested for two. So if you have the ability to produce those, please come on over to my club. And there is a dim sum tart. So if you have some egg tarts, which are to die for, I love egg tarts and I haven't had a nice egg tart in a long time. Please come on over. Okay, Diamond says, where was the Batman when the Joker was looking for him? He was at home washing his tights. No, that's not funny. No, that's not. Uh, no, 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 no. You throw away the outside, eat the inside, then throw away the inside. What is it? Uh, probably an apple. Because people peel the apples. Then they eat the inside of the apple. Then they throw away the inside, which is the core. That would be my thinking on that one. So you throw away the outside, then eat the inside, then throw away the middle. So, hmm, I'd be thinking that. But then again, I like to eat the apple skin, so that wouldn't count on that one. So it's probably something that's wrapped or contained that has a kind of skin or outer coating on the outside. Uh, you eat the inside, so that's obviously food based mm. and then yeah i like to think in different ways i have to break it down to get the riddle so first i think like food and colors and things like that so you throw away the outside you eat the inside throw away the inside and what is it mm. interesting right okay Do -do 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 -do. That's true. Okay, well, let's go and have a look at here anyway, and then zoom out. What have we got? I've done this one too, but I need something that's different for the giveaways. I need more restaurants. Hang on. Let me have a check. Let me have a check. It's still a very nice restaurant, but I've done that one too. I need something different that is more beautiful and wonderful. Let's go have a look. Okay, let's try this one. This usually has a couple of good ones. Let's have a shifty. Do, 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 do. Oh, I hate Facebook these days. It never refreshes the pages when you want it. Ah, yes, that was one of them I want to look at. So, uh, let me just check. Let's have a look. I saw this one the other day and I like this one. So I close that one off. Let's see if I can do this. Hang on a second, let me just check. Filipino chef, sapphire, Filipino, Filipino. Have I got that spelt right? Uh, F I L I P I F I L I not Filipino. Uh, F I L I P I N O Filipino chefs. No. 
Alright, Filipino chefs, is this the one? Let me check. Can I find it? There's too many groups of Filipino chefs. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. That doesn't look like it. Hmm. I want to show this one off. Okay, let me show you the Facebook post. You might be able to help me. This is the lady, Vanessa Costello. Now, I saw her, okay, picture the other day, uh, and I like these ones, but I want to try and show off one of these, but I can't seem to find her club. So, does anybody know her club on this one? I thought it might be the Filipino chefs, but I'm not sure because uh, it's hashtag that one so does anybody know what her club name is yeah I know I uh, was looking behind the scenes at a Facebook page so does anyone know Vanessa's uh, club name I want to go and see her design because it was really 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 good Uh, avocado could be the answer as well because it's definitely food based so you throw away the outside you eat the inside and then you throw away the inside as well so basically it's any food that has a skin with the center that you eat and then the inside you dispose of i thought it could be an apple to start with but the apple i tend to eat the skin as well but uh some over here in japan no uh corn on the cob is a good one as an answer as well so that one has many answers for that riddle because corn you don't eat the outside you eat the uh, corn and then you throw away the inside as well so anything that has a seed and a skin that would be good I could also say an orange as well. You know, like with my missus, she doesn't eat all of the inside. She eats, she throws away the skin. She sucks out the juice from the inside uh, and then throws away what's left over as well. Mm. Here. Does anybody know Vanessa's information, by the way? Yes or no? So do I know what club she's in? So I want to check out her design because it's a very good one. And I'm not sure of her club name. But that's the one I saw the other day that I really, 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 really did like. And I want to do a giveaway. If not, I will just choose a simple design from somebody I've got on my friend's bar and focus on that one. And that will be good. But I've got 20 minutes left to get it sorted. So we're good on that side. Hmm. Nope, nobody's answering on our side. Ah, she's back! Hello, young lady. I recognize you. I'd love to know why she's always at the restaurant. I really would. So she's back. I think she's a stock character. I really do. Is she a real person or not? I wonder. shangri -Lan. Ah, she's in Philippine Chefs. Okay. Okay, level 60. So the shangri -Lan is back. <laughs> She's always there. She's always there. She's everywhere. Everywhere indeed, that one. She's casing the joint. I think she is. I think she is a bot too. I think so. I think maybe the games company could be that focused. I'm not sure. So could be account related. I'm not really sure on that one. Okay, it was Filipino. I thought so. So, Filipino and chefs. Trouble is, trying to find Filipino chefs is a pain in the backside. There's Filipino chefs too. But I don't think that's the one. 
No. And there's just too many there to look through. Annoying. Search needs to be fixed. She took off the design. Okay, then I can't do her. Right, let's go back to young Barbara Zem. So she does have a Halloween design. I'm going to use you. So let's do it. Right, now, what should I do? Do, 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 what should I do? I need something I can ask a question with for the giveaway that will give me. All right. Now, I do like Halloween tables. Hmm. Hmm. I have a good one. Okay. Bear with me a second while I go into privacy mode and check my answer. Right, go into Google again. Do 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 Oh, yeah. Do, 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 Yes, 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 yes. Let's check. Do, 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 do. Yeah! <laughs> right. I always enjoy imparting knowledge onto everybody here, so I think I'm going to enjoy this one. Right. So, this is going to be fun. Oh, yes. Right. Do 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 Yes, 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 yes. Right. <laughs> Enjoy everybody. <laughs> I can do Mama Stats. I can do that one. Hang on a second. Let me just type in my clue anyway. Yeah. 
Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so give me your details and I will go and look at it. Right, let me copy and paste this one. So here is your clue, everybody. So I'm just, it's all about the tables. It's all about eating. So are you ready? Good luck. This is for the main prize. It's an interactive decoration of your choice that's available within the game. All you need to do is to answer my clue one time. Right. I'm dead and don't have one. Even if I eat this cake, I'm still empty. Pray for mine and never forget me. I'm dead and don't have one. Even if I eat this cake, I'm still empty. Pray for mine and never forget me. This one's so easy. This one you should get as well. This one everybody should get. This one's easy. <laughs> yeah. Ninja said brains. <laughs> Even if I eat brains, my head is still empty. That's a good answer, actually. That could work very well. So empty head. I'm dead and don't have one. That's right. You don't have a brain. And even I eat this brain cake, uh, I'm still empty. Pray for my brain and never forget me. I like it. There's some good answers in that one. What else have we got down there that's interesting? We've got soul. That's a good choice too. There's ghost down there. I like that one. A uh, heart. I haven't had a heart in a long time, but I do like them. They are very delicious indeed. Nice bit of heart. <laughs> Yep, indeed. Yummy, 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 yummy. A stomach. Yeah, I've eaten insides of an animal before, but um, hmm. usually if I have stomach, it's uh, with haggis. I actually fancy having yakiniku. I haven't had that in a while. That's good. You're making me think of meat now, everybody. So a nice yakiniku lunch will be good, or even dinner. Probably not lunch. Chicken's nice. I like chicken. Mm -hmm. Today, what should I do for dinner? I wonder. Mm -hmm. Lunch is easy. Right, I'm dead and don't have one. And even if I eat this cake, I'm still empty. Pray for mine and never forget me. Okay, so I think we got enough answers down there. And I only need a few more. So let's spin this one. Good luck, everybody. It's very, very easy. Right, we come on over. There are 14 eligible people down there at the moment, which means that one of you will be lucky enough to get this prize. So... Good luck, good luck, good luck. So the winner is going to be Caitlin Moore. Congratulations. So Caitlin Moore, you are a winner today. And as a result, you can claim an interactive decoration of your choice from within the game. So yay, you have just won a big prize so congratulations now from within the decoration you've got down there you need to come down to the special and then it's the interactive decoration and it's you can choose the candy apple store you can choose any of the others down there that are available within the game that is not a cash purchase one so choose wisely uh, there are only so many choices that are very very good indeed so what are you going to go for? I wonder what is your choice going to be? So Caitlin Moore has won. Congratulations. I need your restaurant, your club name and your level in the chat as well, please. <coughs> so tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me.
Ba -ba 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 -ba. Caitlin Moore, I need your diffs details, please. So what's it going to be? She's not replied to her message yet. So Caitlin, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where is Caitlin? She got the right answer. So where are you, Caitlin? So at Caitlin. She wants the Prana tank. Okay, right. So I need your restaurant, your club name and your level as well, please, Caitlin. So you want the Prana tank. Let's go down. Interactive decoration. Where is the Prana tank? Let's have a look. So is that interactive decoration? Yes, it is. I will add you to the list. So Prana. I can't spell Piranha. Okay, so restaurant club name and level, please, in the chat so I can copy your details down. And while I'm waiting for that one, let's go and have a look at this one. So saucy, isn't it? S-A-U-C-E-Y. So chill and be saucy. Let's see your design. Ooh, a nice little cute castle as well. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. I like that one. Look at that cool crypt over there. That golf that grave site. Very nice. Okay, waiting for the details. Okay, so Caitlin, I need your restaurant, your club name, and your level, please, in the chat so I can add it to my list. So I've got the Piranha Tank, no problems. But what's that one going to be? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. That's very nice as well. Ba -ba -da -ba -dum -bum -bum. A few more minutes left on the clock, everybody, and then I will stop until next week. So make sure you do check out my videos that I post. I'm in your club level 44. You are? Okay. So that makes it easier to find. Okay. Where are you? 44, 44, 44. And another team member's one. Yay! That one down there. Oh my god, I could do this one. So Caitlin Moore is in Red Knights Food Club. R3DKNIGHT at Knights Food Club. And she is Caitlin's cafe. So K A T E L Y N S Cafe. And she is a level 44. Four beautiful. There we go. Another one in my team has won. Do da, do da. Yay! I like that one. Right now, I need to recover all of my data from my photo that I took of my screenshot. I need to go back to last week's video and see who won the pet because that's not saved. But I will uh, actually. I better take a photo of that one as well. Hang on a second. Just in case this goes wrong again, I don't want to lose the data. Okay. Do, 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 do. Handsome devil, I think so too. Right, now I will be playing the rest of my game and trying to get my 62 level, which didn't happen today, which is a shame. That would have been very nice to actually get the XP going over, but I never know how many I've got left. Okay, I will be you. see you all next time, everybody. Thank you for joining me again today. Day. It's been a pleasure. We had a very strange and wonderful conversation to start with, but I will see you next time. Uh, please do send in your email to the games company. If you are a winner, you need to let them know that you have won a prize and then they will send it to you. So make sure you go up into settings in the corner. The gobbling event is now over. The next event is the punk event where we've got some cool decoration as well. Keep your eyes out for that one. And by the way, everybody, the answer to my clue was soul and it was the soul cake. So if you like a soul cake, go and try it out. But for me, I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you next time.